Today, I'm teaching you how to use my weapon, basically. So, let's begin. I have three sheets of paper with shoddily written Sharpie with what I'm going to explain today. First of all, if I'm going to teach you how to play a roller weapon, some just basic rules of using a ruler, I guess. The first one is that you should aim low. And the reason for that, if I do this, that's 48 damage. And if I do that, that's 80. Aim low, because it does more damage, right? And the best way to constantly aim low is to get your hands, your controller and your hands in a com comfortable position. Move up slightly and then press Y again. And then drop your hands to your comfortable position again. Only move up a tiny bit. You don't want to go too high up. Because, well, that's what's going to happen when you get to your comfortable position. But just get to your comfortable position. Center it. Move up slightly, center it, and move back to the comfortable position. And, uh... How did that just miss? That was insane. And uh, you get you get your, uh, your thing. So aim low. Uh, with verticals, it's different, obviously. But 60, 68, 62, it's not nearly as big. With verticals, the damage fall off, I guess. But uh, it still applies. The second thing, the second rule of using rollers, vertical shots deal more damage, but they're slower. And they are more precise. So they're harder to hit. And uh, they also come out slower than horizontal shots. The, the easiest way to show that off is using dynamo, where it's the most exaggerated. So look. There's your vertical. That took like a second. And here's your horizontal. That took like two seconds. Like it takes like double the time to get out a vertical shot uh, than it does a horizontal. And then... Just as a second thing, your vertical shot does more damage. Not on dynamo, apparently. So there's 100 for your horizontal and 120 for your vertical. What you do with that information, with that being more damage than that, what you do with that is you could establish the following, first of all. Get a precise hit, and then get some vertical shots in to finish it off. There are exceptions to that. With Dynamo, just never use the vertical swing. Terrible idea. It's It should be more threatening than it is, but it's not threatening at all to use a vertical swing with Dynamo rolled up. But second of all, Big Swig is like... Just a weird roller in general. Oh, and then also rolling over, I didn't write down. Because it just doesn't really come into use with this weapon, but rolling, rolling, I guess, is good for running away. Again, with exception to dynamo, because it's slow, it's just, you know, you can catch people out with it. But, uh, yeah, the other thing with rolling, rolling with rollers generally kills. With carbon and big swig, it does not. Unless they've already taken 30 damage, of course, but there's no way to actually tell. I mean, I guess you could just do something like that. Don't, though. It's, it's just no... There's just not really a point with rolling with a carbon roller. Um, it's just a safe option, I guess. It's just a safe, like, easy way to calm down, I guess. To calmly run away. But this is faster still, I think. Honestly. Um, and then the other thing is... Uh, the other exception to horizontal, uh, vertical before horizontal. The other exception to that is assists. So, like, somebody else has done th the work for you. You can just, you know, finish off somebody's job. Uh, if you can see somebody's already taken a lot of damage, you can get assists with a horizontal swing. But pretty much, if you're going on your own, uh, it's a nice idea to do a, do a vertical to nail a vertical hit and then and then do horizontals to finish it off. So Carbon Deco's kit is 
well, carbon ruler and burst bomb. Uh, burst bombs do 60 on a direct hit. They do 35 at maximum for a close indirect hit and 25 at minimum for a far uh, indirect hit. And you can use that uh, in a similar way that you would do a vertical swick before a horizontal, you know? Obviously, it's more unlikely that you're going to get that, but you can... That's a favourite. Because you can throw out the bomb and uh, get out your swing in the same turn. So you can... To get out your vertical swing, sorry. You can throw your bomb and then get your vertical swing in the same jump. So, like that. That's a really nice move that you can pull off. Um, it's also really good, like I just showed, for people on ledges to, uh, just happened to do that. That's a really nice move uh, right there. It's that. Uh, throw burst bombs before the swing. The general attack order should be burst bomb, vertical, horizontal. The only other thing... You should try and wait for somebody to be as close to you as you can get them before attacking, before starting your attack, because you get more damage the closer you are. The other part of the kit is Trizuka, which at the moment is meta. Um, is a pretty meta choice. Because it's broken, like literally broken, both in a good way and a bad way. It has always been broken in a bad way. But people are just now starting to exploit that. Um, the key for me with Trizuka, the moment of weakness for Trizuka, is between shots. So most people, when they use Trizuka, are working a bit like that. Their moment of vulnerability is between the shots, right? That is how you generally use your Trizuka. I'm actually going to switch to a hero shot so that I can get Trizuka's quicker. Trizuka's combo with uh, with the main weapon and the kit isn't actually very good here, in my opinion. But the key moment of vulnerability with Trizuka is in between shots. The other thing is it's a very quick special. Uh, if you hold down the button, it's the fastest it'll go. And uh, it's just very uh, quick. It is done within a matter of like two seconds. It's a, it's a very quick special. While also being a very slow special in how it moves. Um, in between shots. Uh, in between shots, you don't get much movement. There's a bit of end lag between shots. Uh, before you can hit again. But that end lag also applies to going into your, going into your ink. So... That's how long it is before you can go back into your ink. So the key weakness of Trizuka is somebody painting your feet. Because you can't go into the ink then. And you can't swim away if somebody gets close to you. Uh, and the best way to take down a Trizuka is to get close to them, paint their feet, and then shoot them. So you have to be careful with that. The other thing, and this is where Trizuka kind of that's not what I meant to do. This is where Trisuka kind of sucks for Carbon Deco. But well it's really good for Carbon Deco, like I'm not I'm not saying it's a bad kit. Uh, but the weakness of Trizuka for Carbon is that Carbon is a short ranged weapon. Uh that doesn't paint a lot, so it doesn't get carbon very often. it doesn't get Trizuka very often. But second of all, because it's short-ranged, and because Trizuka is quite vulnerable, you want to kind of move out of the way to use it with Carbon, just so that a weapon like Squeezer, or Jet Squelcher, or a Backliner, like a, a Hydra Splatling, or a Heavy Splatling even, or even Heavy Edit, they're probably going to get you when you pull out your Trizuka. So, um, you want to move back so that you can avoid that and you can 
stop people from kind of sneaking up on you and getting close to you because if people are getting close to you they're more likely to kill you with Trizuka especially because Trizuka is kind of got the opposite problem that Carbon Husk is Carbon normally suffers with its range. Trizuka suffers with being close ranged. And that's the other thing, the other weakness of Trizuka. It is easy for the enemy to just slide off screen. So, you don't want to be close to your enemy when you're using your Trizuka. You want to move away. You want to get to a backlining position. And you want to use the long range to its advantage. The other problem with it, and this is where it gets broken in the bad way, is because the way that it works is it has three orbs that kind of spiral around its midpoint of the shot. So it's three separate orbs that are separate from each other. The space in between those orbs is large enough that a player can slide through them and dodge the bullet. And it looks as if it's phased through it. It has not phased through it. But also, if it, someone is coming at close range, aim at, the, aim, aim at the floor. Aim at the floor. Because you're going to get that 60 radius there. And that's the best you're going to get. You can hope that once you're dead, someone else can come in and get that, get that person down. The, the reason that's the thing is because there's a possibility that the person just goes straight through the shot. And, uh kind of misses when it should have hit and the best chance of avoiding that is by aiming at the floor and getting the 60 um so the other thing uh what else can we do what else can i mention abilities the abilities i like are well the two that i really like are ninja squid and stealth jump um, because they hide you. The way that I play this weapon, and the way that I think people should play this weapon, is it's a very aggressive, uh, killing machine weapon, but also favours on being sneaky, waiting for enemies to get really close to you, and then just snapping out of the ground. Right. So this person is not moving, obviously, but let's say that, let's say they're currently over there, right? Oh, they're coming, they're coming close. They're really, really close now. Bam, that's your time. It's when they get really close. I guess it would be better to do it on this person. But that's your chance. I just missed. But your best chance is wait for them to come close. But the thing that's going to help with that is the two abilities. Is Well, Ninja Squid, first of all. Because there's less worry about... Uh, Having to stay still in one spot and then kablamming. You can you can approach and you're less likely to be seen. If I change to a piece of gear that doesn't have it, you'll see you'll see the effect that it has. See how obvious it is that I'm approaching here? Whereas if you're not using that. Whereas if you're using Ninja Squid, you're much harder to see. Unless you're going through ink like that, but you're much harder to see here. So it allows for easier sneaking if you have Ninja Squid. The other one is Stealth Jump that I really like. Um, uh, yeah, there's nowhere I can jump to here, but Stealth Jump is really nice because it hides the location. The jump marker. So every time you do a super jump, there's a marker that lands on the floor that tells you where somebody that tells you where you're about to jump to, and it tells everybody on the field where you're about to jump to. Whereas with Stealth Jump, if you have Stealth Jump enabled, uh, what happens is the if somebody's standing far enough away, they're not going to be able to see your jump marker. They have to be really close to the jump marker to actually see that you're jumping there. So that's uh, really nice. I don't actually recommend anything else in particular. Because I don't really pay much attention to abilities, and I would honestly personally recommend you just find something that fits into your playstyle. But, um, if you're not going to use Stealth Jump, maybe use Drop Roller, but Drop Roll is better for the Vanilla Carbon Kit, which has Sipcaster. Drop Roll. Drop Roll is like an honourable mention, I guess, but I personally would prefer Stealth Jump. Um... 
but if anything, try to build into being unpredictable, because it's always nice to be unpredictable when you have really short range. Uh, so, there's that. I guess I just like, you know, I've tried going, this season specifically, I've tried going for more ink resistance stuff, just purely because it's a very mobile weapon, and it just makes it more mobile. I often find that my weakness is, especially with Trisuka, but also with the main weapon, is when I run into enemy ink. It's just not a very nice time. And I also just like quick respawn. Um, I might even replace that uh, quick jump with respawn, honestly. I think the only other thing to mention is low ledges. Um, You can pretty much always, like if someone was stood, stood here, you could get them on that ledge. These low ledges are your friend. They're really nice. These low ledges, um, this is not quite there. It is there. When I tested that yesterday, that didn't work. But that works now. These low ledges are your friend, just hide near them and wait for somebody to be stood on the edge of it and blam uh, maybe I just wasn't close enough maybe it was that's weird but yeah just it's always nice to stand near the edge and then and then uh, kapow catch people off by surprise by hanging below the ledge and waiting for them to approach on top of the ledge let's play a game this is where I expose that I'm playing on a tiny screen which is very wonky, is actually tilted a bit. And this is where I make excuses for my bad playing before I actually get in. Because uh, my setup is failing me recently. And my usual way of playing has gotten very framey, so I'm now using a tiny monitor that I bought year, over a year ago at this point. Oh god, I'm trying to move it so it's not tilted. But uh, we'll see. Here we go. Mm. I would also... I didn't mention this. I would recommend going to the middle as fast as you can. So that you can... Oh god, I didn't mean to pick that up. I would recommend getting to the middle as fast as you can. So that you can... Uh, so that you can take advantage of your... Uh, your really good killing ability. Oh, Jesus. That sounded weird. I'd pick that up, but... I'm trying to show off carbon here. Okay. Ugh. Burst bomb is also nice for painting walls, I didn't mention. I like using burst bombs on walls. Um. Ah, okay. We need to get them. I think they just jumped. We got the checkpoint. Yeah, I'm so uncomfortable with how I'm setting at the moment. Oh. I'm actually gonna pick it up. I don't care. I, this is a crisis. Oh, I didn't charge it all the way. I'm also abandoning the way I normally play because I'm trying not to be uncomfortable. So this is a nice position to use Trisu Kitten. I think. I didn't use it well, but it was a good position. I'd really benefit from putting a ramp here. Sorry. This Rainmaker orientation would really benefit from having a ramp here and a second podium up there. Boom. I definitely picked that up. The person who I just killed definitely saw that. And they're definitely going, hey, he should have picked that up. 
Hmm. Oh, I always have Tacticooler. We have a Tacticooler spammer. Our team. Oh, we just have... No, we have two of them. That's what it is. It's not a spammer. Oh. Mm-mm. Don't like that. Look at that. Trizuka's biggest enemy, by the way, is another Trizuka. I think. So, uh... That's nice. Mm -mm. I feel like I should have died there. But we take that. Ah, oh, it's a bad place to be. I was going to try and creep the ledge. I What? What? Just a bot. I don't believe that. Oh. I'm really flustered because I'm not centered either. My body's facing away from the screen, but it's nice when you're playing this game to not do that. Want them to have it? Hmm. I guess not. Okay, they have it. Hmm. Hmm. My problem with tactical, I don't like that it kind of reveals location. I don't like that drawback. So I often actually ignore it. I have to take that back. See, I'm playing at close range, that's a bad idea. I shouldn't do that. I didn't move back, I just panicked and used it as a panic button. Which isn't the best idea. I see some people saying that it is... The Trizuka is a panic button because it doesn't have starter, but it's vulnerability and it's in between shots problem. It makes it less of a panic button to me. I don't know. I don't think it's a, a great panic button, to be honest. But uh, when it has no startup, it's, it's hard not to see why people might think it. My side is really hurting because the side of the sofa is digging into my side. Literally as literally as I said a second ago. Dank vegan. But yeah, you'll notice a lot when you use your uh, your uh, carbon deco. You are not going to be the person who's painted the most. You're probably going to be the person who's painted the least. Uh, as I have there. I don't know how that splatter shot painted the lead. Oh, because they died ten times, that's why. But, uh, yeah, you're pretty much always, as the, as the carbon ruler, going to be last place with how much turf you inked. But, um, I think that's just a testament to how... Hello? Hello? Are you gonna load? One or more players disconnected? Anyway. Ah, I pressed the button again. Oh, that's actually quite devastating. I don't usually do that. Eh, it's not that good, actually. I did a, um, drawing. With, a uh, Where I drew a range blaster with a blue gradient. I think that'd be cool. What? What? That makes sense. 
I was nowhere near it, was I? Oh, whatever. <sighs> hmm. I'm not getting many jump opportunities here. <laughs> I was behind the podium. What? I was behind a wall. There was literally no way, right? Please don't die. That's not advised at this moment. See, you'd almost think this was a team, but it's... It's Anarchy series. Because look at that weapon comp... That's insane weapon composition. Getting too, uh, too pushy. I need to not. I need, I need to be more careful. Mm -mm. They didn't even see me. Oh, you jumped. Oh, whatever. <sighs> hmm. I meant to jump there, but I didn't. Which is obviously my fault, but... How did I get that person? Were they just... Ah... Oh. Uh. am I here? Go away! Should they really be an S? I, f I feel like they're an X ranker. I, I mean, they can go into series whenever they want, innit? They're playing really well, though. Shownies like a melody in my head. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna go for it. I didn't pick it up. What? I thought I picked it up. Ah. Oh. Hmm. really hurting now though oh my god yeah i need a i need a longer wire for this monitor that's the problem if i get a longer wire i can just put it in front of my normal monitor and just call
call it a day there. And use it like that. But I can't do that at the moment. Alright. I'm gonna have to stop though because of that. Oh, that. Oof. Okay. So that's, that's how you play that weapon.